Hey, Bracken. Just your guy that always gives it to us, you know, straight. And I got to ask what it was like for you guys as a defensive line to play in that game last week and just, you know, have those long drives where it was so tough to get off the field. Yeah, I mean, that, that's unfortunate. That's not what you want as a defense, especially a defensive line. That's not how you want uh, – you, we want to stay on our side of the chains, and, and we never made them uncomfortable. Uh, we never got them off schedule. Um, there, there are very few like big plays that, that was like, oh my gosh, they just they just took a chunk. But, but yeah, it's it's not a situation you want to be in. Uh, it's kind of uh, it was definitely a little bit frustrating, uh, especially from a defensive line standpoint. What do you have to do? Because a few teams, and I've talked to a couple of other guys, but from your view as a defensive lineman, what's the key to avoiding those long drives that you guys have given up at a couple a couple points this year? Yeah, so uh, first to answer your question, uh, when you're out fly fishing and you see a fish rise, uh, my, my uncle always says, one rise does not a hatch make. You know, Sometimes you can think like, oh, there's, you just saw a rise. So you're like, oh, there's the hatch going on, and, and there's not. So, And it's the same, it's the same here. Uh, one one game does not a does not a D line make or break, unfortunately and unfortunately. So we're not panicking. We're not like, oh my gosh, what do we got to do? We've gotten out of drives like that many many times uh, together, and we didn't on Saturday. Yeah, Bracken, this could potentially be your final game at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. Just kind of give us some of your thoughts on just how the ride has been for you at BYU. <laughs> yeah, it's actually – that's been a big thing I've been thinking about this whole week because, you know, I'm, I've been thinking a lot about whether I, whether I should move on or come back or whatever. So it's been on the forefront of my mind. And I've had so many good, so many good times with my friends in the stadium. And that's what – when you think about your, your seasons and your time as a football player, what you think about is the people around you and your teammates – it's you, you rarely do you think and your family too um rarely do you think about like the games itself or the plays but i, I remember the like the usc when we beat usc and lavelle edwards last year there uh, my pops was right there on the on the sideline when when we came off and it's like you know there's memories like that you that you're never going to forget and so yeah it's it's definitely found a found a soft spot on the fleshy tables of the heart to quote paul saint paul actually I guess it doesn't need a saint there. But. Apparently, you've been taking gospel doctrine classes recently or something. Hey, you know what? I'm rereading the New Testament before Christmas. Fair enough. I also wanted to ask you, San Diego State this week, you guys lost him in a low-scoring affair last year. I'm sure you guys would like to pay the favor back this year, but what do you see from them on film that's different from a year ago? Yeah, so we definitely want to we definitely want to have a little bit of revenge there, uh, and that's something we've been exacting this whole year on teams that we played before. So that's that's nothing new, um, but I wouldn't say it's like a, that's not the only. I mean, we're playing football to play football, and we we watch film not because we're like, oh, what are, what are they doing this year? This different, so we can take advantage of them. We're just we watch film because we want to see what they do. Uh, we know learn their percentages. They're, they run 12 personnel, 80%, 80-something percent of the time, uh, which is similar to last year. So uh, I didn't play in the game last year, so I couldn't tell you that I have some huge vendetta. But I'm, I'm excited to, to get out there with my friends and have a good time with them. And then I probably should have followed that up. Have you uh, been given the option to come back if you want to next year? What, what is kind of your thought process on all of this? Uh, that's that's a hard question, and like I said, it's on the forefront of the mind. Talk with my family, people I respect, and and just trying to figure out what to do. But uh, yeah, the options there, um, and and just trying to figure out if it's the best thing for my family and for for me and my wife moving forward, and and what we want versus what we can have. And so yeah, I I don't have an answer for you. Will you pursue the NFL whenever you decide you're done here at BYU? Yeah, I'd love to. I absolutely would love to. And, and I realize it's a hard thing. My older brother gave it a go, and I could see firsthand how hard, it, how hard it is. He's one of the best players to come through here. So so I, I recognize it's hard, but, yeah, I would, I'd love to give that my shot as well. Another question from Jared. I'm curious along the same lines, Bracken, because your brother didn't have the same type of choice you have this year just because of mm -hmm. the circumstances and the situation. What has he said as you've discussed, you know, kind of this unique op opportunity that you and, and the other seniors have? 
Yes, uh, Braden's take on it is obviously he wishes if he could have this opportunity, he would have loved to take it. And and his advice is to take it because he's only been out of the game for a few years and he just longs for it. So that that's that's his ten cents if that's what you're wondering. But I think a lot of seniors in my situation are are looking at it and they're thinking they're getting advice from from everyone they can. And the advice from Braden was was just that. And people I've talked to who have who have moved on, they they long for the game. It's something that you'll miss, you know. And it's just it becomes part of you. I've been playing this game since I was seven years old or something. You know, it's it's weird. Like kind of you build this identity, it becomes part of you, and and you don't ever want to lose it.